Hey there everyone, how are you all doing today? My name is Daggy, and if you struggle with getting gold or platinum on Kicked Out, you are not the only one. Since this game came out, this level has been giving people a lot of trouble. So I figured it was high time to make a bit of a tutorial for it. So what I've gone and done is I've got three runs to show you today. The first run will be kind of how I anticipate probably most of you will be trying to do this. So we'll be doing no monster tricks and holding a combo throughout the entire track. The second run will be doing some monster tricks, this one assumes you know and are capable of doing the Stone Age and the Executioner monster tricks, and it'll be getting small amounts of score from the combo. Just a little bit, but the emphasis is definitely on monster tricks. The third and final run, however, will be kind of a worst scenario in a way, where it doesn't do any monster tricks and it literally gets zero score from combo, not a single point. This is kind of to simulate the whole, you're trying to hold the combo throughout the entire track, but then you fail right at the end and lose it kind of scenario. So yeah, that should hopefully cover all our bases, regardless of how you intend to do this. So before we begin, for all of these runs, you will definitely want to tap your tricks. So when you're doing flips and spins with the D-pad, you'll make sure to tap them instead of holding them, because, you know, you spin and flip faster that way, you get more score. And yeah, from there, I, I guess I can just get right into the runs and the rest will kind of speak for itself. Oh, and by the way, I completely forgot this, but at the start, you can spam a little bit of combo by jumping and spinning in place. By getting a higher combo before you start, each trick is actually worth more combo. So it's definitely something to consider doing. Okay, so this is run number one. And like I said, this will be the one which does no monster tricks and holds combo. So if you take a look at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see there's a little bit of a controller overlay. So you can see exactly what I press, when I press it, and you know, all of these other things that are kind of important to know. So the first thing you'll want is to get your four uber tricks before this ten times. Get on this rail and jump off it early to make sure you kind of catch this ten times in the air. You'll want to get at least a hundred thousand from this. If you're tapping your tricks, that should be fairly easy. Uh, from there, you want to take this kind of slow, jump off this rail, and grab this two times. And then, make sure to hit this five times. This one's definitely pretty important, as it makes up for a little over 100,000 points. In this little midsection, you know, obviously the more points you get, the better, but none of this is especially important. But, the second ten times is coming up, and what you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure you go at this from the left ramp, like I show you here. It's possible to get it from the right ramp, and I'll show you an example of that later in the video. But it's not only harder, it is also... Um, it also has less potential for points. So, you'll want to go at it from the left side like that. And, uh, yeah, that uh, that's definitely the hardest 10 times to get still. And there's a little bit of headroom, so... It's not a crisis if you miss one, you can actually miss one or even up to two of these 10 times multipliers in some cases. The really important ones to get are definitely the first and third multiplier, like 10 times multipliers, and then a few of the miscellaneous five times that are spread throughout. Like this one, for instance, this one makes up like 100 to 120k points. You'll definitely want to grab that one, especially considering it's pretty easy to get. So, keep in mind that this does, you know, assume that you keep your combo all the way through, which can be difficult. But that's why I have a worst case scenario run later. This three times right here, you might be enticed to go for it. But if you're doing this strategy, you probably don't want to. Like, if you feel comfortable, of course, go ahead. But I think most people will probably fail on that more often than they will have it actually help them. And then finally, for the third ten times, I kind of missed it a little bit. But you'll want to hit this from the center ramp and then veer just a little bit to the left. That'll enable you to not only get the 10 times, but also to get a lot of score out of it. So that's the first run. And now run two. So this one will be doing monster tricks and only be getting a little bit of combo. So you'll see I get up to like five combos, seven combos, stuff like that. And then I like cash in the combo. So the emphasis for this run is definitely on the monster tricks, and you'll see that as we play. So first thing you'll want to do is make sure you get your four uber tricks after that jump, and then get on this ten times, take the rail, jump off it early, and do a stone age. Right off that, that'll give you 
over 250k points right there. From there, just hit this rail and jump off of it. Uh, try and get this two times. Then you got this five times up here, which is quite important. With monster tricks, it's not crucial that you get this. As you can see, I literally missed it in my in my run. But this does go to show that you do have a fair bit of wiggle room with most of these runs, except maybe the worst case scenario run, which is quite strict and will require you to do everything pretty much first try. So the second 10 times is coming up, and what you want to do for this one is make sure you hit it from the left, because not only is it easier to get like this, but you can also get more points out of it going from the left ramp like this. So you'll want to hit an executioner through this, which is going to give you a ton of points. Look at that, 420,000 points in my in my case. And as you can see, like we're basically already at the platinum goal. So from here, you probably could just chill and get like a few miscellaneous multipliers and just make it to the end. But obviously, there's still a lot of run to go, and it's it's nice to have a bit of a buffer in case you screwed up some of the earlier stuff. So so here you go. Throughout this little section, there's not really anything in particular that you need to worry about. Just try and pick up points where you can. Make sure you try and get this five times right here. It's worth a lot of points. If you can do a Stone Age for it, that's great. If you can't, then that's fine. Shouldn't be a big deal, really. And then you have a little three times over a billboard coming up in a second. You'll probably want to avoid this. By all means, of course, if you feel comfortable with it, then go for it. But more often than not, you'll probably fail and lose your combo and stuff. Then it will actually, you know, help you out. So, for the final 10 times, make sure you go on the center ramp, veer a little bit to the left so that you get this angle kind of swing back over to the left, which allows you to hit the 10 times. Oh, and by the way, after monster tricks, make sure you do a quick 180 if you've already done the monster tricks to make sure that they register with full score. So that's run number two with 1.9 million. As you can see, there's still a fair bit of wiggle room even on this one. Okay, this is the final run right here. This is the worst case scenario. So this one will be doing no monster tricks and getting no combo. Now, interestingly, I've actually used a gecko code on the GameCube emulator Dolphin by Bad Font Chemming to make it so I literally can't get any combo here for illustrative purposes. As you can see, like, however much I try, it still doesn't work. So first of all, get on this rail for the first 10 times, jump off it early. Make sure you get near 150,000 points from that 10 times. In this run, the worst case scenario run, multipliers are going to be crucial, especially the 10 and 5 times. So while you do have a little bit of wiggle room to screw up, you don't want to miss many multipliers at all. And in general, if you miss any of the 10 times, I would probably just restart because you'll need all of them for this realistically. So for the second 10 times, which is coming up, you'll want to make sure you actually hit this going from the left ramp, because it's not only easier, but you also have potential to get more points, as I'll show you in just a little bit. This one's definitely the most difficult one, but if like this is the way you're trying to get platinum on Kicked Out, you can definitely get gold without that one. But if this if you're going for platinum, you'll pretty much be required to get that one as well. Whereas in the two other runs, you'll be fine without the second 10 times if you, if the rest of your run is good. So as you can see, we're at 860k at this point in the run. So you can kind of think about it in the way that, you know, we'll get another 100 to 200k points before the final multiplier and then the remainder from the last 10 times. Make sure to get this five times, by the way. Don't underestimate this one, 100k at this point in the run is super crucial. And as you can see, we're getting close. Now, for this run, you'll probably want to avoid the spray times over the billboard that's coming up here with this rail on the left. But if you're falling behind on this kind of run, like if you're at 700k at this point, you might be better off taking it. Like 6 to 700k. That might still allow you to get the platinum. So from here, the last 10 times, you'll want to take the center ramp here just a little bit to the left, so you get this angle that kind of swings over to the left, which allows you to uh, grab this 10 times. And there you go! You know, all of those restrictions considering, still getting 1.6 million, you can see there's still a little room for screw-ups, and 
then I missed a couple of multipliers and stuff in my showcase run too. Okay, so this is why you don't want to do the second 10 times from the right. It's far harder, and while you can get it, and you can get a fair amount of points for it, as you can see, even a successful attempt, you still only get, like, basically up to 275k. So, it's definitely not worth it. On every single run, I've kind of warned you about this three times, but if you're confident, or you're otherwise behind, you can go for it. Make sure you go sideways and hold your boost until kind of the kink in the rail. And then if you do it right, you can get another 100k off of this three times. And finally, there is another way to get this final 10 times. Don't get this first rail on the left here, slow it down and just ride onto the second one, full boost and jump at the very end of it. This is a very precise timing, I think you only have like one or two frames in which you can do it. But if you manage to successfully do it, you know, this is an alternate way of doing it. So if you struggle with getting that kind of left veering turn from the center ramp, you can do this instead, if you're more comfortable with that. So yeah, there you go. That's my attempt at a little bit of a kicked out walkthrough, so hopefully it helped. If some things went a little bit too fast, or you have questions about something I didn't explicitly cover in this video, don't hesitate to leave them below in the comment section, and I'll do my best to get back to you and help you out. So yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. It's been good to be back. Um, definitely expect more videos soon. I felt this was a very nice one to start off with, because I know a lot of people struggle with this this track, so hopefully this one will help a lot of players in the years to come. But yeah, I will be sure to see you again soon. And if you want some extra tips, this is kind of extra reading if you will, if you want some extra tips to learn or get better at monster tricks, I'll leave a link to my monster tricks guide in the description as well. Alright everyone, that'll do it for me. Thank you all so very much for watching. Have an absolutely bang up the rest of your day. Take care and goodbye.